what could be more ordinary? He said, like some, what are the things that everyone does? Everyone eats food. Everyone goes to the bathroom. Everyone dies. Um, there's nothing unusual about that. And, and no, no personal attack involved at all. Uh, it comes with the uh, packet. At the same time, in uh, uh, Tibetan Buddhism, it's also extraordinary. It's also um, a moment of great opportunity to realize something you might not have been able to realize earlier in your life. Something about that moment of dissolution from this life no matter what you think happens after, there's something about there is there's a, a great opening of mind, opening and expansion of mind in a certain kind of a, um, quality of connection and clarity and um, wisdom possible simply by <clears throat> simply by so much falling away, so much falling away, so much crap you could say. <laughs> The stuff that we just, when we can't hold all that together, we can't hold our kind of life we've kind of imagined together as though that's a thing that we can hold together. When that's kind of like you know, going away, no matter what, then something else which is beyond the so much of self concerns and self fears and and self obsessions and flaws and attachments and all that, they have less hold and there's a possibility of much vaster way of being. So it's both. It's ordinary and it's not at all ordinary. So preparing oneself, training your mind, familiarizing yourself with all your preconceptions. Noticing when your mind um, is, when you're nervous and you, you cover up by fussing, being more active, doing this, doing that, doing that, uh, talking too much. When you're just filling space, why are you doing that? Death, among other things, is big space. And that's uneasy. So part of training, you know, I talked about particular kinds of training, but part of training is, can we rest in a bigger space of a, a emotional, mental, and literal space? Space is what happens when we're not trying to make something happen. Space is what happens when we are not entranced by our concepts and our words. Those moments, whether shock or surprise, and things drop for a moment. And usually what we do is just scramble, scramble, scramble right back because I, who wants that? But the sense of can you walk into that space? And that is part of what this is all about, the sense of presence, presence where? practicing where, being with someone where, and really, at, particularly at moments of transition or how we be with ourselves in moments of loss and transition, where that really happens is in that vast space. So learning to rest in uncertainty, let go of control, and find greater stability than we might have found by struggling to, to make something happen, to be a certain way, to do certain this or that. <laughs>